Okay, so it's currently about 9.48 p.m. I got an order and I figured since I told everyone about my YouTube channel now, I'm going to go ahead and film just exactly how um, I package it up and how the whole process works. So, so this order was for these pair of earrings, our round statement earrings. The detail in, on these, in these earrings are so beautiful. You have the turquoise and then you have the, I mean, just everything about them is so beautiful. So when I send out an order, um, they look like this. And I go ahead and I attach my tag, my brand tag onto the earrings. This is kind of a little twisted. And I don't just like shipping things just like this or I don't like shipping them in the plastic that comes with the vendor. So what I do is I buy little boxes like these, little brown boxes off Amazon and they come with the cotton in the inside already with them. So what I like to do is I like to use these and I'll go ahead and place these earrings on in here. And then what I like to do is place it to where the Poise Charm tag is going to sit nicely right on top of it. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and place the sticker on top of the twine. And there you have it, and this is how they will receive their package. And this is called a poly mailer. This is your best bet when shipping, because y'all know shipping can get expensive. So the best bet is to um, get a poly mailer. I think you could even get a bubble mailer for pretty cheap, um, but I like to use these poly mailers. So after I do this, then what I do is I get my social cards, which is this or a business card. Um, in this instance, this is a returning customer, so I'm not going to put that in there. So we're actually going to go upstairs and I'm going to show you what I do next. Okay, so now I made it upstairs, and what I have in front of me, I'm at my desk where I usually do everything, so I have my scale, which I got off of Amazon as well, not that expensive, I think it was maybe like $15 or something like that. I have my package that y'all saw me wrap up, and then, as well as the Polly Miller, and since she is a returning customer, um, I'm going to go ahead and give her one of these since we are still in the fall season and I had made these for an event but I didn't hand them all out so it's basically just a take 10% off your next purchase it just kind of encourages um, customers to come back and something to look forward to and behind this my Instagram my social card what I'm going to do is I have a stamp and this stamp is um, it just basically says thank you for your order from Poised Charm after you stamp it onto the back of the card and usually in this blank space up here I'll go ahead and put the customer's name and then down here I'll put from uh, me personally To weigh it to see how much it weighs so what I like to do is this is a big just regular size envelope there's my little brand on a circle sticker and then I'm just gonna go ahead and stick the coupon in there along with the social card and then I'm even gonna put 
the invoice and return policy in here. So those are just pieces of paper, so it's not going to weigh that much. So I'm going to go ahead and put the card in first into the poly, into the poly mailer. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick the packaging itself in there. And I'm just going to kind of fold it and then place it on the scale. And it's saying 1.8 ounces. And I just kind of like to move it around a little bit just in case it gives me a different one. Because if you don't put the correct amount of weight, the post office is not going to accept it. So we're going to go ahead and put 1.9. I always like to round up just to be safe. Okay, now that I have everything in here, I'm going to go ahead and close it up. Now I'm going to go ahead and print off the shipping label. We're going to create it. Then we'll go ahead and take one of these stickers off and I'm going to slap it on the front of it. You want to put it where it's not going to interfere with the the tracking number where the post office has to has to scan anything. Looks like when it's completed, it's good to go, so it will go out first thing in the morning. And that's pretty much what all goes into packing up an order. 